Folks, a little mini expedition here. Go check on Atimama's cows. I have no idea exactly where we're going. But the whole crew. This crew. Got a whole expedition to go feed the cows. What a room. Papa's got you, man. There's a black goat over there. I like black goats and black women. <laughs> Careful, but <bro. laughs> Fuck, that was scary because I thought there wasn't nothing I could do. I couldn't react that fast. I thought that was coming down on somebody's head and my crew. I talked about it many times before on videos. I saw a lady almost lose her life when a coconut came down from one of the tall trees, the tall skinny trees, not these thick ones. It's over on Batayan Island about 10 years ago. Coconut come off the top ropes and it landed right behind her uh, her foot and it landed right behind her foot and bounced of course scared the shit out of her scared the shit out of us on the motorbike we thought she was dead i mean six inches if she left her house uh 0.5 seconds later that coconut would have been like a bowling ball dropping on her head I'll never forget it. it. Scared the shit out of us. There's nothing you can do. You can see it falling. It's like I go back to slow motion in my mind, watching this lady almost get taken out by a coconut, and she was holding hands with her granddaughter. And when that thing bounced and she jumped, and, you know, got over her initial shock for a split second, she was so excited to get a free coconut. I'm like, lady, you almost lost your life, and all you're worried about is getting that free coconut. Anyhow, when you're out here under these trees, nobody's tending to them. You don't want to hang out underneath a tree like this for too long. Check that out. 
those things could drop any moment. Big pile of them right here. See here. You just don't want to take a nap underneath a coconut tree out in the wild. Because the coconuts obviously drop at some point, just like that branch. Okay, so here we are, the cows. Let me show you around. We have a baby cow. Baby cow will grow? Yeah, you do like that. Like that too? Yes. I'm going to lay you on the Okay, trying to get some information here. So I'm asking Auntie Mama, how old is the baby calf when she sells it? So it depends? Yeah, it depends. So what, what's what's average? When do you sell it? Two months. Four years? Four years? Six months. Six months? Six months? Yeah. Six months. So if you sell it at six months, what's the average? How much is that calf going to cost? Fifteen. Huh? Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen to twenty k. So 15 to 20,000 pesos at about six months old. And how many kilos is that? About how many kilo? I don't know. You don't know? But at six months, I can buy that calf for 15K. 15, 15, as well. 15 to 20K. If six months I buy that, we can have a big barbecue. <laughs> Foreign guy wants some beef. I want a hamburger. Yeah, I'm taking a taster on just that. Just the juice. Oh, you just you 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 get the juice like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and like that. You just get the juice. Um, is that huh? Smells like. It smells like a stick, right? No, you want to know what it smells like? It's really nothing special. Sort of tastes like sugar, but not as sweet. Because sugar's been refined, that ain't refined. Come 
another bite of that. But when you crunch into it, it's like crunching into a block of sugar. Like a crunching into a sugar cube, sort of. Yeah, sort of like crunching into a sugar cube. Show the fellas where the party's at. Hoop, there it is. Which ones are yours, I think, my man? This one, this one. Which one? This. Right here? Yes. All right, what's this guy's name? No. George. Hey, George? Yeah. I'm in the George, man. Dag Hana mo. Dag George. Mora ni laum laum diri ati mai mai. Mora na ni ko anwa na ko. Mora na 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 na. Niya niya kana mo hubas ni? No, no, no. Oh, 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 Pag-ibig naman ang mga kabaw, no? Ang kabaw ko gawan. Rukugihan. Ang baka. Pag-ibig. Ay, nakasabot tayo sa buha na yun. Ano, mag-ingin na natin sa ika, sa ano, sa nang mga katuran pa? Mag-subay-subay, o. Subay-subay, o. Ano, kailangan ang bukan na yun, o. Kaya kung di naman bukan. Delikado, o. Ano naman? Dad, don't go too closer, okay? You'll fall down with your camera. Ni posing ug mayo ang kanang kuan ni Mano, okay? Abi na ibig siya. Awa may ni posing ug mayo. Ni kuan na eh. Ni siya sa no 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 please ko. Iyon na siya ron si Katita. Asa ni mo ikuan ati may may? Ah, asal di pabat di to. Eh, mau ada makan no? Kali sih kabau ya, di ni kau ada kau ni. 
Alright folks, so we picked out at the Mama's Carabao. And where is she taking it, ladies? Just to the next field over here? Yeah, because the cows cannot climb in here, so she takes those in there. Okay, so you can't climb up this side of the bank. you got to climb up that side of the bank. I'm not sure what she's going to do with it for the night. You ladies know? Where does she keep it for the night? Over there? No, she's going in here. She's, she's going to bring it back around here? Yes. Yeah. All right, so there you go. So look at the carabao. So who's these three carabaos here? Uncle do we know? Eddie. Well, those are Uncle Eddie's? Yeah. Okay, so Uncle Eddie owns all three of those carabaos. There you go, folks. This an everyday routine. All right, let's go, ladies. Bye-bye, my friends. Y'all chill out down there. Enjoy that nice, cool shade and that cool water. <laughs> Just a beautiful day. Again, I want to thank y'all for joining us on today's show. That sun beating down, it's so warm. Got a cool breeze. It's the only thing that saves you. That, that, that breeze stops. Whoa, it's like being in an oven. Okay, so this carabao is about nine months old, and she said if she sold it right now, anywhere from 20 to 25k. So anywhere from 400 to 500 U.S. dollars for that. Where's he at? Oh, over there. That carabao over there, about nine months old. Okay, so the carabao carabao is a male, and she said because it's a male, she'll sell any time. So if somebody shows up and throws down, boom, 25k. Around 500 bucks, she'll sell the Carabao right now. Okay, so she's in it for the long term. She's in it for uh, the strategy, the long game. She'll only sell the males. Now this one is a male, so you want a male Carabao, she get 25K, it's yours. I said, what if that's a female? She said, she's not gonna sell. So any female offspring she's keeping, she's expanding her empire, her ranch, but she will sell that male right there if you're looking for one. Is this appropriate for YouTube? <laughs> They're just eating the leaves. So what happens, every night she'll leave the carabao out here for one to two hours, how much time she's got. And they're eating those little green leaves that you just saw. So they'll basically snack on this old field here, and then she'll put them back in the jungle over here. And the carabao goes back to the watering hole over there for the night, chills out. So that's her uh, nightly routine, dealing with the animals. Tab it, 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 tab it. Tabby, tabby, tabby. Tabby, tabby, tabby.
Let me just give you a minute to just look at this beautiful canopy on this palm tree here. It's just huge. It's just absolutely beautiful with the sun peeking through there. Pan around over here. I hope this does it some justice from this distance. I'll zoom in a little bit, but look at that bamboo. You know, growing like in two directions. Look at that right there. It's just so cool here with the breeze coming through. Just natural beauty of the tropics. How can you not love that? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Ran out of battery on my big camera. Got another battery back there. Just didn't put it in my little bag here. Oh, no. Who is this under this tree? Who is this? A lot of stray Filipinas end up under this tree. Could you just drop them off? Oh no, it's Flo! Flo got dropped off underneath the single mile tree. Let's drop them off right here. Somebody will pick them up. Go, buddy, bro. Hey, man, come on, let's go, dude. Hey, son. Hey, buddy. I love you, man. My crack team of Filipinas. Easy, buddy, bro. Life is good, my friend. This is very good. Maybe it's convenient you just showed up at supper time. No. Breakfast, lunch, or supper. She'll be around. Let's go. 
Where you going, buddy? Don't go no <laughs> got, got Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 